Have you run out of regular fire starters and you need to prepare some meals or you need heat? Though it may be problematic, there are some simple methods that can help you start a fire. And you only need certain household items for this. More precisely, you will need some kind of heating source or something that magnifies and intensifies light to start a fire. Maybe you already applied this method of starting a fire as a kid by using a magnifying glass. All you need to do is to expose a magnifying glass to some sunlight and direct its beam onto some dry tinder. It usually takes a minute, but you will be satisfied with the flame result. Try to find some sort of glass lenses. Instead of a magnifying glass, you may use lenses for glasses or a mirror for starting a fire this way. Another way for making a fire needs flint and steel. Though not standard for some households, many people actually have these items in their homes. In order to make a spark, you should strike a piece of steel against a flint. In order to transform that spark into a flame, you will need extra dry tinder and some light blowing. It could be challenging in windy conditions, but it is worth trying. You have probably seen this in some survival shows. People using two pieces of wood to make a fire by rubbing them against each other. Well, one piece of wood should have an indent made by drilling or carving for example, where you will put a stick, which fits. Then, you will roll the stick back and forth in your hands as fast as you can. Thus you will get friction which results in heat. Make sure to have some thin and dry tinder on top of the hole so that the heat produced by friction can catch the tinder. In this way, heat and sparks turn into flame and finally, fire. Common household items, batteries, and light bulbs can produce fire as well. It is really ingenious. More precisely, you will use a candent light bulb and a large D battery in order to expose filaments. Smash the light bulb. Next, touch negative and positive terminals of the battery by the plug end of the light bulb. This contact will heat up the previously mentioned tungsten filaments. The heat produced in this way is sufficient for lighting some kindling or tinder. A contact between a D battery and steel wool presents one more effective method of using household items for starting a fire. When it comes to steel wool, it shouldn't be tightly packed, but rather made loose. Then, touch it by the battery terminals. This contact will result in friction with extreme heat, which is enough to set the steel wool on fire. As you probably presume, the next step is putting together the burning steel wool and some dry tinder. And here is the fire. There is one more use of batteries for making a fire. This time, you should combine an AA or AAA battery and a foil wrapper. In the beginning, you should cut the foil wrapper in small strips. Then, twist it in the middle to look like a bow tie. After that, touch both battery terminals with the foil wrapper. This contact should light the wrapper. As you can see, there are at least 6 simple and great solutions for making a fire in case of lack of matches, lighters, lighter cubes, or other regular fire starters. All you need is to find these materials in your home and know their place.